So, I have a question. An honest, genuine question. For all of the G's, man. For all of the gangs, gang members on here. An honest question. Whether you're a black or brown gang in California, in Los Angeles County in particular, how many of your sets have someone of the other race in your neighborhood as homies? It's an honest question. I've, a I've asked this question of, of, of uh, OG Judson Baycott. I've asked this question of Tiny Tim. And we've had conversation about them and, you know, homies, homies, uh, in their sections that are that are Chicanos or Hispanics or whatever they want to call themselves. And it, and, it, and it made me wonder how many different different gangs out there have, you know, someone of a different race in those gangs that are predominantly one or the other. You know, like 99.9%. You know what I mean? Cuz someone someone dropped a comment and they pointed out how Tortilla Flats actually has, you know, some some black homies in there. You know, and they and they also point out the fact that, well, I wouldn't say fact, but um, the possibility that that the NK that's being seen on them walls is not coming from cops, and that the cops are not responsible for a lot of these divisions. Because we know how they played in the prison system out there. It's well documented. In the history of of those prison gangs and whatnot, and you know the alliances that 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 exist as they as they are, dating back to whenever, as tenuous as they are. You know, a lot of that has to do with our government, the counterintelligence program never wanted to see blacks and browns unite. Because, you know, let's, 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 let's look at it this way. Let's say that, that all the blacks found peace amongst themselves and all the browns found peace amongst themselves, right? No more wars, no more beefs, no more disrespect, no more none of this. And, and each of these groups started fighting individually against the system for their rights, right? We're still divided. We're still divided as a people, and there's still more strength if we came together in numbers. But let's just suppose that. Do you think that, that law enforcement wants to see that? Do you think the government wants to see that? So I want everyone to, to, to take an honest look in their neighborhoods in spite of all the hyperbole, which is exaggerations, you know, and all the racism, because, you know, a lot of what a lot of what is promoted through people's eyes don't realize that it's racism. To look up or down at another based on the color of their skin and, and to classify that as a race which in, it, it's not because most of what we're talking about are either nationalities, ethnicity, and or colors that don't even exist like black and white. There's no such human being, those colors. But people racially identify themselves in that way. So when we look at one another up or down based on those notions or those ideals, and a misunderstanding of the root of the word race and where it comes from historically. When we when we when we shed these blinders and we really take a look, you know, how many, how many, how many people grew up with, you know, what I mean, um there being, you know, a homie or two that banged the set, you know what I mean? Um, that was of a different race. Right? And, you know, even deeper to look into it, you know, how many, how many, you know, families or whatnot that didn't bang the neighborhood, right? You know what I mean? Existed within these communities. 
Now, I know there may be some, you know, that may be completely one way or another. It's kind of hard to believe. But I'm just asking everyone, take an honest look. It's an honest question. How many, how many homies do you got that are of a different, different race or ethnicity than what is predominantly and what is known in that neighborhood? Let's start there, man. Let's start taking an honest look within ourselves and within our neighborhoods and see what's really there. Because it's like this, you know, are you gonna let someone come in and, 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 and do damage in your hood? You know what I mean? Regardless. Let's, let's be honest with ourselves now. It's not as violent as it was. And it's not going to be. Because there's too many of us who've grown up and grown out of it. Call it what you want. But there's just too many of us that we know better and we do our damnedest to show better. And now people are preaching and teaching a far better message on here, man. So I just say, take an honest look. I mean, I grew up in a very diverse community. I'm from the housing, from the projects, and you know, there's people of all colors in there. Mass of fact, got homies that are that are all colors. It's a predominantly Chicano gang, but we got a gang of black homies. We got we got white homies. We got we got a gang of Native American homies, and it is what it is, bro. It's one love. Fuck with the bull, get the horns. But let's be honest and let's take a look and let's see. You know what I mean? And if you got homies that are of a different color, you know what I mean? Are you going to ride for them? They're going to ride for you? Have they? And in conclusion, I'm going to say this, man. United we stand, divided we fall. And our conquerors intend to keep us divided and conquered ourselves and keep us killing ourselves. It's time we come together, man. Peace and I'm out.